Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is uh, part two of our Blue Screen of Debt um, series and in this part we will actually take a look at possible causes of blue screens on PCs. There are a million types of problems that can cause Windows to crash. But contrary to what most people think, Windows 95% of the time has nothing to do with it. It crashes because of something that is out of its control. And a lot of people say, oh, well, you know, Windows crashes all the time. It's a bad operating system. It's actually not. It's actually very, very good. And most blue screens are problems that are somewhere else, third-party software, bad hardware, and so on. So what can be the cause of blue screens? Well, here, for example, in IRQL, not dispatch level, stuff like that, first of all, this is a typical old uh, blue screen, like on Windows 7, for example, you'll have a blue screen that looks like this. And by the way, let's look at another one. And by the way, there's no technical assistance that you can call in general for problems. So don't actually do anything and call no numbers that appear on your screen. There are fake blue screens out there. This one is a Windows 10 and Windows 8 style blue screen of death. It's a different one. And it has information about, you know, like here, critical process died and so on. And when you see this information, the percentage complete, that's because it's creating the dump file, the uh, file that you w will and we will take a look at and try to understand what's happening. So some of the causes of blue screens, bad drivers, bad, bad drivers are probably one of the major cause of blue screens on computers. And uh, because some of the drivers that are installed are just not um, well written. And so if you have a computer plagued with a bad driver of one of its hardware, you'll have random blue screens. But typically, blue screens always show the same info. And yes, it does happen that it's random. And that's the worst blue screen you can have. But when your blue screen always gives you the same error code and the same message, it is easier to pinpoint what's happening. So it could be a bad driver. It could be conflicts between some of your hardware. Uh, sometimes two pieces of hardware together actually don't work well. So that's something that you need to look at. Make sure that you have the latest drivers on all of your devices that you use. It's very important to check that out, either by using the Windows uh, update driver, but even better if it's a brand computer you have, go to your manufacturer's website, you know, if it's an HP, go to hp.com and so on. There, you can actually download the latest drivers for everything on your computer. And the reason why they issue new drivers is because it causes problems. So that's one of the first things you should check out. Uh, you know, devices might have bad drivers, so update your drivers if there's something. And um, check out that there's no conflicts or no, you know, like little things like this with yellow marks or, you know, maybe a red X could mean that something's wrong. So uh, that's one of the first problems that you can check out. Installed software is another cause of blue screen. Sometimes software are not well, um, you know, programmed. And basically when you install them on your PC, what happens is that it causes uh, issues where Windows will crash. Um, it's not, you know, sometimes only the software crashes, but a software can also make Windows crash depending on what process it needs to work with. And so, you know what, for software, the first thing that you need to do is if you have a, a, a computer that's plagued with blue screen, you should do a clean install, fresh start, and test your system without any new software installed, test your system, uh, you know, with the basic drivers it has for all the hardware. Unplug every external hardware, your uh, printers, everything that's plugged in the USB shouldn't be there anymore, uh, except, of course, if you're using a wireless mouse and keyboard. But um, you start from fresh and you try it for many hours, if not a few days, with any nothing else. 
And you know what? If you see that it doesn't crash, you're starting to pinpoint maybe a possibility here that maybe one of the hardware you plug in USB or maybe one of the software you install that you like can cause your PC to crash. Bad memory, bad RAM is uh, one of the most common hardware issues for blue screens. It is one of the common errors. Um, sometimes it will show up, you know, as some kind of error uh, related to memory. But often, a bad RAM module will actually make your computer crash randomly with all sorts of error messages, and uh, nothing, you know, is uh, is is it's always going to be different, and that happens very often. Um, it could be bad RAM. But it could be a mismatch. If somebody installed new RAM on your PC, very often it's not the same brand. Um, if you install RAM on yourself and you see that you've mismatched brands, okay, most of the time it works, but you know what? Mismatch RAM modules can actually cause blue screens. And this is one probably one of the number one uh, blue screens uh, creator bad RAM modules. So how do you know if it's that? Well, the best thing to do is, of course, to swap your RAM with another RAM module and see if your computer still crashes or not. Motherboards are also another cause of uh, blue screens. Um, it could be just some, you know, misconfiguration. Your BIOS isn't set correctly. Manufacturers tend to modify the basic uh, BIOS information and change it accordingly to the hardware they put in. And sometimes that can create blue screens. It can be a blue screen because your CMOS battery died and your uh, BIOS just was reset and it's now incorrectly configured for what you're using. Uh, it could be a bad motherboard. That is something that I've seen through the 16, 17 years of uh, fixing computers. Bad motherboards exist. Power supply problems, especially on desktop, is a very common issue of blue screens. When the voltage that the power supply gives to the motherboard isn't correct, if it's uh, you know fluctuating a little too much, it can actually uh, really make your computer crash. I've seen that a few times. Changing the power supply, and suddenly all blue screens are gone. So uh, that's because if the voltage on the motherboard fluctuates too much, it creates errors when there's uh, data transfers. So, um, you know, one part of one chip on your motherboard might not work properly because of that. It creates blue screens. So that's one possibility. Virus infections and trojans and stuff like that are often creators of blue screens. Um, not just the fake blue screens, but also because they are often not well created, uh, they often will make the computer crash. So a scan of your PC for viruses viruses and trojans and stuff like that, all sorts of infections is very, very important because it might, might pinpoint to some uh, issues on your computer. Overeating is another major cause of blue screens. Overeating causes, in general, two two things to happen on your PC. Either it shuts down and stays shut down, which is probably a common thing on overeated computers, but on many computers it will just crash. For example, especially if you're using AMD hardware. So if you've got an AMD CPU, uh, AMD CPUs tend to not shut down. They tend to overheat to a point where they're, they're going to actually uh, do some errors and then, of course, you're going to hit a blue screen. So overeating is something that can happen. Uh, best just, you know, make sure that you clean up all the dust and remove all of the dust and the problems, uh, you know, can be solved if it's overeating. Uh, dust is a very, very major issue on pretty much every machine. Even worse if you are a smoker because the dust not only um, accumulates, but it also creates a brown goo that is, is even worse uh, for overeating. So uh, that's something that you might need to check out. If it's a desktop, it's easy to clean in general. If it's a laptop, you might want to have 
uh, maybe a tech guy look at it. Hard drive problems is also a cause of blue screens. When hard drives start to get hold, they often have more errors that are created when they write and read files. That can be a cause of blue screens. Um, usually also it will slow down the PC, but uh, hard drive can make blue screens also. Corruptions of files on your PCs and corruption or wrong entries in the registry are possible causes of um, blue screens. And one thing that people will think and that I have to say here, if you're using software like CCleaner for example that fixes the registry, one thing that I got to say, these don't fix the registry. It's um, actually not labeled right when they say it fixes the registry. It removes entries that are not of use anymore, stuff like that. But it does not know if a key entry is correct or not. A software like CCleaner does not fix a registry. It just removes the stuff that it knows it can remove. But there's a lot of entries in the registry that no software can detect as being faulty. It can be a driver, it can be again a software, it can be something that happened. It could be a corruption of the registry due to, you know, some glitch in the hardware or on your hard drive. Uh, that's also a possible cause. And if it is, you know what, a reinstall, a fresh install of Windows will fix the problem most of the time. And uh, so this is something else. So <laughs> I've gone through all the pictures. Sorry there. That was a uh, card from a radio station. So, uh, hey, uh, that's pretty much what I have to say. Uh, corrupt files are also possibilities. It could be a corrupt, uh, you know, DLL in Windows. Uh, these do happen. And once again, corrupt files, um, if, if it's corrupt files or corrupt registry, a reinstall of Windows fixes the problem most of the time. So uh, check it out. And uh, one of the first things that I would say you have to do um, in a blue screen plagued PC. Uh, try to reinstall from scratch, from zero, and don't install anything new. Unplug every USB device and check out if it's it's working or not. That's one of the first things you should check for. So this was part two, looking at some of the possible causes of blue screens. And um, hope that you will enjoy this series this week where we'll take a look at um, you know, blue screens, how to identify what could be wrong, and uh, hopefully this can help you understand more on your PC. Uh, if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.